great, great, great. Ah, fucking fuckhead. This is great. David Mamet is a name best known for his hard-nosed characterizations and the foul mode underbelly of society in which they live. For such reasons, controversy has never been far from his work. And so, with a brand new production of one of his most famous plays, American Buffalo, due to open here in February at the Loft Venue in Limerick, I went along to rehearsals with the Magic Roundabout Theatre Company to meet the cast and discuss their take on this David Mamet classic. Let's do that. Let's make our next thing. So we did that, and that went down very well as well. And we did the Two Gentlemen of Lebowski, and we just, I don't know, Probably this is going to be the one that that's, that's going to be terrible. <laughs> because we've been very lucky so far. Bobby, 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 Bobby. I began by asking them, with a junk shop as their only real home, do you consider the characters more tactical in nature than the poker face bluffers we are sometimes led to believe in American Buffalo? Well, I think it's more to do with relationships, and it could be, I mean, Teach refers uh, to himself as not being Donnie's wife twice. But it is almost like a relationship with that. So it's more to do with like human chemistry and relationships and friends and friendship and people who know each other really well, uh, but they still piss each other off. I more than understand and I apologize. There is an integral harsh poetry and the language of despair the typical thing. of Mamet's work. Some would say this is due to the setting, while others may argue it's a response to his character's vulnerability. Where does the Magic Roundabout Theatre Company's production sit with this argument? Um, the poetry is not going to change no matter who's, who's putting on a production of it. Um, the level of despair is something that we would be making a decision about because our interpretation would involve, as Steph would say, more, more reliance on their relationship with each other. So that they, even though they are lying to each other, even though they are tricking and double crossing and all the rest of it but nonetheless they still do have a relationship they actually underneath all of the lies and all of the all the blowhard notions of loyalty and friendship and doing a job and being businessmen they actually the real reason they're together in this junk shop it's a relationship and that when the play comes to its climax it rather than everything just being this tortuous open sore wound of suffering that it's no that underneath all of the guff and underneath all of the double crossing um, there is something holding them together and there, there's forgiveness offered and there's self-sacrifice and, and there's vulnerability from each of these three characters the play considers the theme of man's struggle to the top by any means necessary whether by greed and revenge or a sense of pride and stupidity is American Buffalo more about friendship or business under the American capitalist scrap heap? I think it's all about friendship. Um, like, I, as uh, Darren was saying, it's all the, the business side is just the bravado. It's all a big show for them. I, I don't think, like when it comes down to it, when it comes to the climax, they don't really care about the job anymore. They don't care about uh, finishing what was meant to be started at the start. And even with my character, Bobby, throughout the entire thing he's just trying to impress like he doesn't care about business he's, he uses the word business but he doesn't actually understand what it means or understand what he's actually talking about whatsoever he's just trying to impress so it all comes down to friendship I think like even by near the end when the whole self-sacrifice part like he just feels like he needs to uh, give them what they need at all times Donnie makes him feel like he's at home makes him feel safe um, and that comes down to all this is the fort. This is like a home to the lads when they're not at home. From the mouth of a southern bull like asshole, ingrate of a vicious nowhere cunt in this trash cum. So now, as rehearsals come to an end and the real production work begins, the curtain will finally come up to give the local theatre going public their say on David Mamet's American Buffalo. First written in 1975 about three characters in a junk shop and still selling seats almost 40 years later here in Limerick. This is John Collins for LCFE TV.